Hello everyone, my name is Stefan and in this lecture you will learn about functions in assembly programming. Unlike modern programming languages characterized by structured constructs, assembly language possesses a unique flavor distinguished by its extensive reliance on GMP instructions and labels which enable intricate program jumps and unconventional execution paths. So in sharp contrast to high level languages with their do while loops and case statements, assembly lacks these predefined structures for program flow. But however, don't be disheartened by the absence of conventional structures. So assembly language offers its own toolkit for organizing code notably truth functions and procedures. So think of functions as compact units that execute instructions and provide a result, while procedures are akin to instruction sequences that carry out tasks without yielding a specific output. So in earlier parts of this course, you have encountered functions in action, particularly the prominent printf function from the C library. This is an external function we have already incorporated. But now let's take a deeper dive into the world of functions. And in this section, we will acquaint ourselves with the concept of simple functions. And as we progress, the subsequent sections will uncover essential aspects such as maintaining stack alignment, integrating external functions, and mastering the intricate dance of calling functions. So navigating through the assembly landscape, understanding functions and procedures grants you the power to bring structure to your code. While the traditional do-while loops might be missing in this programming language, the notion of functions and procedures acts as a guiding light helping you tame complexity and arrange your programs in an organized manner. So as we continue this uh, journey, uh, rest assured that the realm of functions and procedures will become a crucial tool toolkit in your assembly repertory and enabling you to wield the language's capabilities with the greater finesse and uh, control. So. In this assembly uh, code example, we will develop a program that calculates and prints the array of circle using a function. And after this uh, practice, you will have the skills of defining and calling functions, handling floating point calculations, and print formatted output using the printf function. So now let's create a new project. Uh, now save it somewhere like as we save our all the code here. So let's name it function num uh, function first function first function project here and we will also develop another function project after this lecture in another uh, lecture of course so now let's make it uh, fun function one function one dot asm save it delete this predefined code and now we will de uh, declare the external printf function here so extern um extern printf here and after that we will create a section data here and we will create a two data here so which is the firstly is radius uh, it's gonna be dq here not uh, lowercase dq here and 10.0 here we are declaring the radius of circle as a double precision floating point number and p dq here and we will, as you know, 3.14. Uh, so we, here we are declaring the value of P as a double precision floating point number. And we will also create the string here. So FMT DB here, DB. And here the area of the circle is 2F. And after that, yeah, the array of circle. Actually, let's make it the uppercase. The array of circle is 2f, which with this will show the two floating point number here. And you will see uh, at the output in more detail. So 
and uh, there's no terminating here. And that's it. Here, here we uh, form a string for printing the array here. And after that, we will declare the entry point of the program in text, in uh, text section, text, global main. Here we declare the entry point of the program as main. And now what we're going to do is we will first create our main and we will first save the base pointer. So go main, push rb, push rbp and move rbp rsp which we are setting up the base pointer here and now we will call the area uh, now here we are calling the area function to calculate the area of the circle and we will develop that area function uh, right after this so and after that we will move the rdi we will move the fm2 to rdi so with this, we are loading the format string for printing here. Format string to printing here. So actually, let's name it string here. My string. Actually, format string here. So it will be easier to see here. So format string. And now what we're going to do is yeah move rdi format string so we loaded the format string for printing and now we will do move sd uh, with xmm1 and uh, radius right radius here we are loading the radius into xmm1 which is this is xmm1 is a floating point register remember that xmm1 is a floating point register and after that we will load the uh, we will load the area into racks here so racks one and we will call the printf now yeah printf and now we will uh, leave here and red here we are restoring the stack frame and here we are returning from the main function and we will also need to define this area label or function here so area here uh, in this area let's actually make it a bit upper yeah so area we will first push the rbp uh, for saving the base pointer we will move the we will set up the base pointer as we did in main so move rbp rsp and after that we will load the radius into xmm0 Remember, we loaded the radius here, XMM1, and you will see why. So, move ST, XMM0, and here, radius. And after that, move ST here, uh, XMM0. With this, uh, we are telling the assembler to multiply XMM0 by the radius to calculate the square of this radius square of this radius and move sd again here uh now xmm0 again and p so we are telling the assembler to multiply xmm0 by uh, p to calculate the area of the circle and now we will just leave to restore the stack frame leave and red uh, to return from the area function and uh, now let's open our terminal we will what we will do is we will see the, the source assembly ls ram it out yeah so we have this in first function project now what we're gonna do here is we will copy this stack no yeah copy the I think we don't need that so we go we will go to first function here and as you can see we have function one that asm we will copy the or i think we yeah mouse pad uh home telephone source assembly and stack make file yes so yeah this is our make file and we will change that 
Okay, you can close here. That's it. So mouse pad make. That's it. And now, as we did in previous lecture, we will find and replace it to not write this make file room zero again. And we will search for um, stack test. And we will replace with function one. Replace it all. Perfect. Now we can close and let's make this. And firstly, uh, with this make file, we will simply no target specified with mo no clear mouse pad make yeah function one function one dot o function one dot asm is about here Mo yes we'll move the make to make file make here no rule to target make target stack target needed by stack test by no we don't need that here less so mouse pad make file and as you can see we have stack test that all here so we will replace it with stack test and function function one yes yeah it was function one that asm replace it here that's it we have done now close this and make here and as you can see no we got error here and the line 18 error printf not defined because we again have some typo here radius print f that's it now let's make it again make and as you can see here our program is com uh, assembled and linked here make and this can be up to date ls now we have this executable lst uh, and object file here now let's run this function one and as you can see here, this code tells us the array of circle is 314 here. And that we, you can also run it from the NASM here. As you can see, the array of circle uh, 314. I just wanted to show you how to create or edit, modify the make file. But if you are getting any uh, errors um, on when you click this play button here, you can go to settings, build here, and select 64 NASM and that's it uh, this will fix your problem if your program is running on the terminal and not on the sasm so now let's explain this code line by line here so the code starts by declaring their radius and p as a double precision floating point numbers in the data section here let me actually check is this recording yes perfect now after that in the main function the code pushes the base pointer onto the stack and uh, sets up the base pointer and the calorie function calls the area function to calculate the area of the circle and the format string for printing is loaded into RDA uh, and the radius is loaded into XMM1 this is a plot floating point register and the result of the area calculation is loaded into racks and the printf function is called to print the formatted output and this leave instruction restores the stack frame and the write instruction returns from the main function and in the area function here the code pushes the base pointer onto the stack and sets the base pointer and the radius is loaded into xmm0 and the square square <laughs> square of the radius is calculated by multiplying xmm0 itself and the area of the circle is calculated by multiplying the squared um squared the radius by pi and the leave instruction restores the stack frame and red instruction returns from the array function just like in main function here so this code demonstrates how to define and call functions handle floating point calculations and print formatted output so it provides a clear example of organizing code into functions to perform specific tasks and promotes modular programming practices. Then 
that's it with today's uh, lecture and in next lecture we will do another practice with functions in assembler programming my name is Stephen and I'm waiting you in next lecture